How's it going everyone? Back with another stream today. We're gonna be uh, changing up a little bit and playing uh, some modern here. Uh, unfortunately with, you know, Dominar United coming out and all the spoilers, um, essentially the format's kind of a lame duck format. Like, you know, I, I want to play Liliana, but I have to wait until I think this Friday? Um, so I feel like playing Pioneer now is like, not like it's going to be, uh, pointless, but like, you know, we're just playing, just kind of play the game of magic and not really generating any meaningful data. Um, so I kind of asked on Twitter, um, if I should play modern or pioneer, it was actually pretty close. 55 to 44. It's pretty close. Um, so, uh, people have spoken we're gonna play some modern today uh, i was debating between playing you know an urza saga build versus a non urza saga build um and i think since you know we, i won't be able to play pioneer with liliana until friday i'll probably do both uh so to kind of give you a sneak peek about you know what another option is i was kind of toying with this build um that uh is similar to a build that 5 owed uh, with Ignoble Hierarchs and had like Soren the Merkless and like Vraska's in the main. Um, but I kind of trimmed that. Uh, I kind of built it how I would build the deck with Ignoble Hierarchs. Um, I might cut a 23rd land and then add something else just because we have four Hierarchs and they're kind of dead. Uh, but this is kind of just like a rough draft. Um, so I'm going to play with. Uh, today we're going to play this Urza Saga build with Elvish Reclaimer. Um, it's very similar to a list at 5 0 uh, I think on Friday, uh, I think I saw Electric Bob stream something similar to this. If not, maybe the list was based on Electric Bob's build. Uh, but I did make some slight changes. Um, I'm not sure if the build had four bobbles, well, that ball plate, but the one that 5 -0 did had four bobbles. Um, but I did make some changes. I think the 5 -0 list had a place of Bob's and a place of Dante Voidwalkers. Uh, so I trimmed one of each and added two little on the veil just because I wanted to see how they play. Uh, I just haven't played Liliana the Veil in the modern format in a long time, so I kind of just want to have some fun here. Um, I think the five of list only had one Blood Sheath's Thirst. Uh, this may be incorrect because I haven't played modern in like two months. Uh, but I do think we want six uh, turn one interactions to Ragavan. I-X-B-P-O-Q-D-X-L. Thank you for the follow. Really appreciate it. Uh, I do, like, this is kind of based on when I was playing abs, and I think, you know, we, I always had a 3-3 three, three Fatal Push Prismatic Ending Split because I want six answers to a turn one Ragavan, and this is kind of the best turn one or one mana removal spell to a Ragavan that Golgari has access to. Um, so I cut the third with a Bloom Command for a, a, a second Blood Chase Thirst. Uh, then I kind of changed the sideboard a little bit. Um, I think I left most of the cards that were in the sideboard. Uh, I don't remember what I changed, to be honest. Uh, I definitely added the two Damping Spear because I don't want to just get shit on by Tron. Uh, I think they had like a Ghost Quarter in the sideboard. Um, I don't remember what else, but just gotta go with this. Just have some fun, see how it is. Uh, I, I, I do think that this is an Electric Bob homage because I think he's the one that pioneered this Golgar Rope Farm. So I'm gonna give a shout out to him and the person that 5 0 which let me grab their username. This is bad of me, I should have. They're using it, I'm ready to give them credit before I started, but I like Witherbloom Command. I think they're neat. I always hated Witherbloom Command. Um, I just feel like it never does enough for me uh, whenever I play with a card. I feel like it doesn't kill anything. The drain is really relevant. Like, I board it out against, I used to board out against Burn because I feel like spending two into drain just isn't what you want to do in the matchup because it doesn't deal with the board. I do think Recurring Saga is really good. Um, I just... I, I think I feel like it's good against exactly Hammer, and that's about it. Um, sorry, I just hit the mic. So, like, Ando Nico is a list that I... is a pilot where I just saw their 5-0 list. I could post it in the chat. They want a reference point. Uh, but I made a few changes, so let's see what I cut. They cut... They have a Golgari Charm and a Ghost Quarter, so I cut those for... Uh, for... Uh, Two damping spear. They have an abrupt decay. I don't know, know what I added instead over it. Uh, it just doesn't really matter. Uh, I kind of wanted to add a crime punishment to the sideboard, but I think obviously with Urza Saga, it's kind of a nombo. Um, 
So this build, I think I have two crime punishments because again, we have no resist on this build. So it's something I want to play with because this is the build that's really interesting because I really want to play with Force of Vigor and Mandic Endurance seems really, really good. And it's with Ignoble Hierarchs, um, excuse me, you can cast uh, Endurance on turn two and it's like fantastic. Wrist is really good. Uh, especially with Ignoble Hierarch based on the builds with Abzan and you can Mandic Torak. So like, this is the build I'm also really, really interested in. And then Scavenger Use was really impressive in the other 5-0 list that I saw Demonic Tutors play a little bit of. Um, and Scavenger Use look really impressive there. Uh, so I kind of just want to see how this looks. It could also be a Dark Confidant too, but we'll see how Bob's feel in this list today. Um, but yeah, let's get the show on the road. Um... Again, I haven't played Modern in two months, so I'll probably make quite a few mistakes here, low key. Um, and the reason why I'm playing um, Golgari or Rock or Rhythm Bloom instead of Abzan is kind of where I left off with Modern was I feel like Ledger Shredder. So. Esper Sentinel is really, really good against Control and Blue Red Murktide and Grixis Shadow. And when I left off um, these, you know, Murktide and Grixis Shadow lists play Ledger Shredder. And you would think that Esper Sentinel would be good in those specific matchups. But I think just that matchup just became so poor because of shredder i don't know what happened but like my win percentage versus those two decks like absolutely plummeted i think it was like went from like favorable to like unfavorable in a heartbeat and i don't know why i i, I it's just whatever like ledger shredder just changed that matchup i can't put it i can't like logic explain why because you would think that a, a card that makes you that incentivizes you to double spell uh would be a, a card that would be good right but it's not, and I don't know why. I feel like maybe it, like they're okay just slamming a shredder, and they just it's just another card they just that can just accumulate value from. <clears throat> so I I don't know. I just so I feel like it's just a little bit cleaner just to go straight black green rock and then see how they perform. So we'll keep this hand. Um, we can actually bobble trick ourselves, but I'll probably do that on turn two. Uh, I, I miss Mr. Bobble. This is so fun. I Mr. Bobble is such a fun card. Uh, a card I missed when I played Abzan Saga. Uh, but I can lead on Overgrown Tomb here, and then um, Scry Trick next turn. I could either get a basic Swamp with this Verdant Catacombs, or get a basic Forest. Um, I'd rather Scry Trick myself than get information from there, and because. I feel like we can find information. Like, knowing what their top card is is not as important as revealing the top card. Rally, right? Ragavan, okay. Don't you think Dothy Booker is not with Scavenging Ooze? Or are they both good enough? Uh, did I have Scavenging Ooze and Dothy Waterburger in this list? Oh, I guess so, huh? Uh, I don't know. That's something I have to think about, P. Kelly, but that's a good point, too. Maybe that's a reason to not have it. Tumberglyph. Okay, so let's Bobble Trick ourselves. There's a Saga. I kind of want the Saga, to be honest. We could also just tutor a Saga later. I feel like maybe we want interaction. This looks like, like it's either Jund or Rakdos. Um, I kind of want to play this Fetch just to make my Tarmogoyf out of bolt range, to be honest. So shuffling the Saga away is like fine, I think, because you already have a, the third land, too. Um, I think I'm going to shuffle it away. I don't think I want Saga at this point. We could always tutor it with, uh... Because, like, the other thing, too, is, like, I also want to be able to chump with this... Uh, block the Ragavan here. With MH2. Yeah. I think a lot of people share that same sentiment with you, Mark. So now they need to... Okay. I will gladly trade here. Empty board is good. Uh, 
Bobby. Kind of want to slam a Bob here. Especially going to get the backup one. I could literally on a plus, but... I'd rather just, uh... Play a Bob, I think. Yeah, the fetch line mana base is definitely... Ooh. Glad I fetched that basic forest, huh? Uh, how many basic swamps do I have on this list? I have two. Oh, I wish I had my reclaimers now. That's unfortunate. I definitely don't miss playing against Blood Moon. Oh, Shadow Spear. Oh, I'm glad I shuffled my Saga away, too. <laughs> that was... <laughs> that's, that was a pretty decent attack. Uh, so we'll attack. Uh, so it looks like it's a scam Rakdos list I've seen online. So if we get Fury, that really sucks. Uh, but I think we can't just, like, not play into it, right? We have to hope we draw, um, Basic Swamp or Reclaimer works, too. Uh, it's the one with, like, Grief and, uh... It's like a grief shell with uh, undying malice or uh, and fury too. Okay, 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 okay. That was pretty good. Up here. Yeah, it's it's a recent name, I think. So we'll uh, attack here. Um, I think I'll bobble them. Dothy Voidwalker, well. If they had Fury, I think they would have cast it, right? And so they know that we know they're going to draw Dothy Voidwalker. So. I think I just play Voidwalker here. Yeah, there was, like, a Twitter thread about it. But I think scam is kind of, like, the accepted term now. Because their hand's probably all full of, like, undying threats. Or undying, like, undying malice or whatever. Or undying evil, whatever that card is called. So, like, if we Liliana minus them, they probably have a way to... Okay, they, so they had the bolt in hand. They just refused to cash it in. It's interesting. This mob is just taking over the fucking game. That is a cool-ass bolt, for sure. For sure. Uh, let's, uh... Get this veil in there. So we know they have this bolt, too. <laughs> I think about... Okay. Nice. Nice. Again, another reason why Rog is better than Abzan is just they're just it's just a lot more immune to Blood Moon. It's just a lot easier to handle that. Um, Torpor Orb stops Fury and Grief. It, I'm not so worried about Grief because if they grieve us, it's kind of whatever. I'm really worried about um, Fury. Uh, so I think a one of Gothra Throat seems pretty good. Um, the Lilianas also were pretty good in that matchup. I don't think we want Witherbloom Command. Spellbomb has some utility because, you know, if they have an Undying uh, card, we can just activate it. Deck don't even need Lily? What do you mean, my Mark? Whether we come at only kills monkey though. 
Not a big fan of it. Do I even want the Torpor Orbs too? I could also board in Vela Summer. But Vela Summer on the draw seems a little loose. Maybe I trim a Void Walker. No, Void Walker's actually good because of the undying threats. Mm. Yeah, I do think we want uh, Torpors. I think they're better than the Witherland Commands, honestly. So I think we'll borrow the Witherland Commands. <clears throat> Maybe we brought out one Inquisition. Maybe we just brought out the Inquisitions completely. Maybe I should have worn all the Inquisitions. Okay, so we're kind of vulnerable to Blood Moon, but we are not vulnerable to Monkey. So if they go Turbo Monkey, we can Blood Cheese Thirst it. Uh, and then we can go Reclaimer Inquisition and then turn three play Saga. No turn one play, huh? So I kind of want to go Inquisition here because I feel like they have a removal spell for this Reclaimer. I'd rather just take it. Like if they have like Bolt to Terminate. Oh, they have lots of removal spells for my Reclaimer. How about just take the hearse? Um, I wonder if they board out Blood Moon. Did they see Saga? They didn't see Saga, actually. That's the card they drew. So we're a little bit immune to blood pain, it's kind of... Eh. Do I want to play Reclaimer here? I don't think so. Swamp. Let's dodge Blood Moon here. Okay. Do I want to play out second sock? Uh, I don't think so. I think I'll shock on this overgrown tomb. I can make a construct and then Inquisition. Yeah, I think I can make a construct and then Inquisition. I agree. The power level on this deck is definitely a lot better, or a lot higher than like the Ignoble build for sure. Ugh. Probably take the Undying Evil, probably. I could also take Bolt, but then they could Fury and Dying Evil, and then I kind of get fucked. I think I have to take the Dying Evil here. Okay. Those Bolts are cool, though, for sure. They're really pretty.
Saga. Bobby. So to make a construct. I think I'll get Spell Bomb here. Because if they draw another Undying Fear on them, to be able to get value out of it. Play Saga. I'll probably just play Reclaimer here. Because that way, if they want to cash in their Sphere, they can only kill one of these cards. Why don't we just start talking Numa? So I think I need to cash in this spell bomb now. Do they have bolt? So our last card. A land would be nice. Fatal push. Okay. That's annoying. Forest. So their hand is Ragavan Fury Thoughtsies. Make a construct. So now all my constructs are out of Fury range, which is really nice. I guess I'll get Shadow Spear here. God, Saga's so fucking dumb. <laughs> it's just <laughs> no wonder I don't play modern anymore, and I'm on the saga side here. <laughs> so even if they um, hard cast a fury, we just they can't kill anything, and then we go wide. Or we also have to go for the third too. Easy money, easy money. Saga is uh, overpowered. Overpowered. No fetch kind of sucks with this hand. I, feel like we, I wish we could scry. Um, this hand really doesn't do anything, so I'm gonna mulligan. again. Uh, uh, I'll keep this on the draw on bottom of the Leon, I think. Sea Chrome Coast. Oh, we're against Hammer. Okay. Okay, dokie. A 
think we have the Inquisition first. Land. Thank you. I think I'll save this fetch. Uh, I will Inquisition, though. Okay. So I think we have to take the pure steel. We could also just take the gift. They go pure steel. We go reclaimer plus push paladin. And then we have to, we have to eventually draw an answer to this saga. I think we take the gift here. And then we have we have three turns to find an answer to this saga. I think I take the gift here. Cause then if they go um planes paladin, like that means there's one that's one more turn that they're delayed from casting from playing Saga. So They chose to play the song. Oops. God damn it. Evil Plains. Nat L E K S R L. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Oh, don't tell me they fucking drew the hammer here. Don't tell me they did that. Do not tell me they did that. Oh. <laughs> The other one mana equipment. That one you can keep for sure. That's fine for sure. Uh, it's going to be so difficult to grind through their saga though. That's the thing. And then these Voidwalkers are actually pretty bad in this matchup. Uh, kind of regret bottoming Liliana. Because if we do draw another land, Liliana is a great way to get out of this spot. Another push is very good. <laughs> nice redemption, Connor. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go reclaim right here. I don't think Voidwalker is gonna do anything in this matchup. So it'll be interesting to see if they choose to activate the Saga or uh, play the Paladin. I feel like they'll play this. They'll uh, activate the paladin here, or activate the song. I mean, so that's a play that they had in hand. It's good info. Again, land would be great here because we could play push and uh, activate reclaimer. So land off the top are really good. I'm gonna not fetch to maximize that uh, those odds. Perfect. What do we have? So we can play the long game here, kind of, where we can like tutor up a Baseju and then tutor up a Golgari raw farm and then bounce the Baseju. That is a line that is an option to us. We're gonna make them do their thing. Um, and probably push the construct that's gonna be attached the hammer to it. They might even just put the hammer onto the ornithopter. How's it going, well? As Saga just destroyed our round one opponent, <laughs> we are getting destroyed by our opposing Urza Saga. This is where like the two Witherblend commands would be really good here. I would I would much appreciate uh, the one of the Witherblend commands. Okay. Oh. Well, I will push you. 
We're going to take five. Uh, so we need a discard spell, ideally. Do I fetch here? And get uh, another land. <sighs> it would turn this Reclaimer into a 3-4. We just need to draw another removal spell. I think that's our out here. It's a really bad spot for us. Because I don't there's not a land that we can tutor for that would get us out of this, I don't think. Because we can get a saga, but then we need to draw another land and then chomp. Because they're gonna be able to like pure steel. So the best draw actually is probably an Inquisition. So do I just like fetch here? Do I get Overgrown Tomb and then like Forest and then like Tutor Up Beseju and then hope to have a turn to untap? I think so. This is a way to like essentially Tutor Up a Beseju. I could also just get Rot Farm now. So we have another land. Maybe I should have gone that route, actually. I think that was a misplay. I guess I'll get the Besager now. I'm already kind of committed to that line. Okay, so how does that work? We could literally plus discard Voidwalker. They could just equip the Shadow Spear to this and attack. And we're kind of dead. I think we're dead. We need an Inquisition. We could literally on a minus them. They draw a card. They sack a Sentinel. Yeah. There's no way. Put together bad decks, yeah. Okay, um, Pithing Needle, Explosives, Tracken. Oh, <laughs> I like how the go through don't, don't kill anything. I mean, I could kill uh, a Paladin, but we can't kill a Construct. Or an Ink Moth Nexus. The Void Walkers can come out. The Spellbomb can come out. Yeah, that's true. I just feel like we just die the following turn because they still have a pure steel. Because we still need to... Like, that lets us live that turn, but that means that we still have to answer a pure steel paladin and a second construct. And we only cards are Liliana and a Dothy Voidwalker with only three lands. So, I guess technically we need to draw a Fatal Push... So I guess we're not technically dead, but then they draw three cards. I think it's just denying the inevitable at that point. I guess it's not a 0% outer, but it's a very, very low percentage. Because they'd be drawing two cards plus another draw set that they'd have. Just to literally draw any other threat. Dothy can't block. No. Dothy cannot block, unfortunately. Uh, Chalice is okay. I mean, you can Chalice on one, but that also turns off all, literally all of our removal spells. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. I could see it, but every time I board it, I've tried that. I tested it like when I would play Abzan, and every time I do it, I always die. 
Could be wrong, though. I could very much easily be wrong. This is a sentinel. I will gladly turn a goof. Okay. Okay. Looks like a good hand. Give her a sure. I'm gonna shock in and play this overgrown tomb. Oh, actually, oh, that's, hmm. No, I don't think that changes anything. Cause I might wanna E on one and just wipe everything. So I'll just play this Goyf. I don't think I wanna play Urza Saga yet. I want to play Ghostly Prison and Siege Rhino in Snaring Bridge. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> I appreciate your endeavors, buddy. Appreciate your endeavors. Mr. Scribble, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. College are complete. That's unfortunate. So then there's Cauldron of Three Unknown Cards. I will attempt to Bletchy's Thirst Your Giver Runes. I will attempt to Fatal Push your Stoneforge Mystic. I'm debating which land to play. It might just be Saga. I think it will be Saga. Yeah, it'll be Saga. Especially with the back one, it's fine. I'm the only one that's allowed to have Saga, not you. Get out of here. Ah, yes, modern, yeah. Damn you. Damn you. So they can cauldron me next turn, which kind of sucks. So they get a hammer, that's fine. So the hand is cauldron. Oh. Ow. Take 10. So the last cards are Cauldron and Hammer. Or sorry, the last card is Cauldron. Waste the Hammer with Inquisitor is a thought sees. That would have been really good here. Not even, I guess, because we still have to deal with the stupid Ornithopter. How do we deal with this cauldron? So I guess we can EE -E for one. And then we can tutor up Shadow Sphere. I have to get Shadow Sphere eventually. Because we need to give this dude. We need to kill this dude. We can chump this guy with Tarmogoyf. I can also just make a construct and then chump here.
Yeah, so I think we make a construct, block Ornithopter, take a hit from Cauldra. We untap, get Shadow Spear, EE -E for zero, kill everything. So I play Saga. I could Inquisition here. I guess it's quote unquote free and then it's not dead. I think that's the plan. I think that is the plan. Appreciate it, Jesse. Appreciate it. Hopefully this Inquisition's live. It is live. Okay, so I think that's the game plan. I could attack. Because we're, oh, yeah, because we're not technically blocking with this Tarmogoy. They could theoretically thought block, uh, equip Ornithopter, that is true. Yeah, so let's just pass. Let's actually play as E on zero then. So let's attack. Because then if they just attack with this, we just make a uh, Saga on block. If they put the order the Cauldra and then equip on the Ornithopter. Actually, if they equip on the Ornithopter, then we kind of just, then we, we need to keep this Tarmogoyf going back. Because in case they just, they could threaten to equip the Cauldra onto the Ornithopter and then we have to equip in response and they left with an indestructible Cauldra. And then we can't do anything there. So I think we just have to keep this turn white black, unfortunately. I wonder if I should have played the EE though. It's a tough turn. Okay. They don't. Okay. As expected. Okay. So we'll make a construct. Block arena. So we'll float here. Get a shadow spear. Um, Do this for zero. Pop this. Do I attack? They can get Shadow Spear and equip. I kind of want to attack here. If they have if they have Hammer Eight, I'm just like dead anyway, right? If they have like any Hammer, no, no, no sorry, they get Hammer here and equip the Stone Bridge and I die. Apologies. So I literally can't attack. So then if I play Rot Farm, if I bounce the Blooming Marsh, I can activate Saga, Saga dies, and I can play the Blooming Marsh as my land for turn. Oh man, this is a tough... I 
We, we like, survive this turn, but, like... This saga is just going to destroy us. If they find Shadow Spear, we're dead. What do we need here? We need like two removal spells. That ain't it, Captain. That ain't it. Oh my gosh. And this is where I like really want Force of Vigor. Like I think Force of Vigor is the card that you really want for these type of matchups. And I don't think you can fit that in. Maybe if we have the third Witherland command. How many green cards do you have here? Four, eight, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Maybe we could fit Force of Vigor here if we have the third Witherland command. Four, eight, nine, ten. I don't know. I really, I really want Force of Vigor for that matchup specifically. Like, I don't think a single engineer explosives effect is like good enough for that matchup. Like, Urza Saga just destroys you. Alright, we're on the play. We have Double Thoughts, East Fate to Push, Dark Confidant. Pretty good hand. Um, <clears throat> so we have two discard spells to protect our Dark Confidant, and then we have a push for a opposing Ragavan, for example. So we don't believe Martian Thoughts, he's... Gross. I think I take the expressive iteration here. I could also just take lightning bolt and then slam Bob. They go expressive iteration, go thoughtsies. I think I do that. We do leave him with e EI, but don't think we could do anything about that. We could also just thought seize take the EI, but So we're going to let him EI, unfortunately, but I think we need to slam Bob. Like, our hand is also really bad. Interesting. So they let us untap, and they don't EI. We don't need another push. So we don't need. Remand. A 
Okay, well, I'm gonna take their best card in EI. They might cycle dress down here. But we have to kill them before they cast Cape Ship, obviously. But double push is not where we want to be, unfortunately. Hopefully we draw Bobble, I guess. Okay. They can't... If they don't have another land, they can't Dryad this turn, which is good for us. They just play Valakut. Tarbogoyf or Reclaimer's best draw here. Oh my gosh. So they just hold up Remand. Okay, this is a good draw. Let it resolve. Interesting. They have dress down plus bull, that sucks. Man. Please. <laughs> oh man. I think I'll ball by myself at the end of my opponent's turn. I hope they cash it in this dryad next turn. They don't. Lily on the veil. I would take a little bit of the veil. We have to throw this into the remand, unfortunately. So they're two lands away from scape shifting us. This is why I just don't like modern. <laughs> it's just like so broken. <laughs> okay. Uh, one land and we're dead. Thoughtseize. That doesn't do anything. Literally doesn't do anything here. Probably just discard one of these pushes. The thirst look pretty good though. Being able to tag a Ren is probably the best case scenario, I guess. But One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so what are the odds of them not drawing a land for the rest of the game? What are the odds? Yeah. 
how do we beat Scapeshift? So Torak. Veil vale seems okay versus the Romance. But that's about it. How many dead cards do we have? Because the Wither, I guess the Spell Bombs, the Wither Bloom Commands. And then like X number of pushes, maybe like two. So I guess we were in two veils. Maybe we're gonna go for the throat. Oh, he's gonna make him do it. I just not worth my time. They have it. Not worth the time equity. I guess Wither and Clement tags a Renin 6. So maybe it's worth like an extra copy. Okay. I think I'll bobble trick myself here. Void Walker. I think I'll keep the Void Walker here. Stop it from ramping. Hey, Dukes. Great stream you have with Spider, by the way. I was having you on while I was uh, lounging. It's a great stream. Probably bolt my void walker. <laughs> no one has an Abzan today, unfortunately. Endurance. Interesting. Okay. I would actually prefer a, a black source here. Um. And then we'll play the drum. So then we can track, hopefully. I'm also just like Saga and just like beat their face with it. That actually might be better. Another Saga. Another bobble. Another bobble. I'm actually not gonna crack this bauble here. I'm gonna want to just uh, activate Saga and just try to kill him. Because they do have this endurance that they could flash in. Balakut, okay. Voidwalker, okay. Well. I'm going to Oops. I'll uh try to tap correctly here. I'm struggling. <laughs> struggling to operate moto at a competent level. I'm trying to aggro them out here. They have Bolt. Lily is interesting. I think I'm just going to beat face. Because this gets us out of escape shift range. And this is also just casually a two turn clock. Saga's so dumb. <laughs> this, 
This, this card is so dumb. <laughs> and like, the double-edged sword, because it absolutely destroys us, but it absolutely destroys our opponent too. Such a double-edged sword. I hate the card so much, but it's just so good in the deck. Because <laughs> it's just like, like, we just have no good answers against it. Like, I guess we have, like, crime punishment, but, like, I don't know. It just feels bad. <clears throat> Okay, that's not a good hand. I'm gonna keep this on the backs of a scry trick. Okay, I don't think we can roll into five. Is that a veil of summer or is that a veil of summer? Is that a veil of summer or is that a veil of summer? I think I'm going to shuffle out of the way. Show me your veil. <sighs> Why did I sign up to play Modern again? <laughs> Why did I sign up to play this format again? <laughs> Alright, we got we didn't get punished for ah Oh fuck they have rents too. Well no uh Bless you's thirst. You don't need another Fuck we don't want another blood verdant catacombs, but we have to shuffle it away. Fuck me. Okay. So we can go Goif off Blooming Marsh and then Saga Tarak. They tap this in, so that's good for us. Discard spell. Thirst. Ooh, Liliana the Veil. I think we need the clock down. I think we need to get this clock down. So this means they don't have a Romand because they played that tapped. This track is... EI, sure. They could veil me next turn. I mean, maybe that's the... Maybe that's the, uh... Maybe that's the read. We do the tarmac for like a turn too late. Though. We really needed this last turn. Like, that might be really detrimental. Scalding turn, okay. They pitched a red in six. Oh, do they have a lightning bolt? Oh. Ha. Huh. Don't I don't get it. All right, we're gonna ignore Ren. We're gonna. Try to beat their face in with this time boy. And hope to take all the relevant cards out of their hand with this Tarak.
Ooh, we got a scape shift. And an ex engineering explosive. Let's fucking go. Just gotta hope that the last couple cards are blanks here. Uh, looks like it's a uh, CD. Looks like it. What do we need here? Oh. Well, we know their last card is Scalding Tarn Unknown, so... Okay, that's a last. Okay. Shadow Spear off the top wins the game. Oh, but we have to attack this rundown, right? Because they can ultimate. Hmm. Yeah. Seven. You're right, we can Lily plus, and that is lethal. Is our last card Lightning Bolt, though? I guess we can't really play around that. 10, 11. So we can Lily. Does it matter? Yeah. Let's fucking go, y'all. <laughs> Fuck this format. <laughs> oh, this Turak was the nuts. We hit scape shift and engineer explosives. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> oh, I love Turak, dude. Oh my god. That's funny. <clears throat> love to see it. Love to see it. Turak saving black and modern, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I'm on the Lenny of the Bell waiting for it on Pios. Aren't we all, buddy? Aren't we all? I mean, that Force of Vigor really cost our opponent uh, because it actually grew our turn goal with that extra point of power, too, that we needed. So. They actually shouldn't have Force of Vigor that turn goal, <laughs> which is funny. Just need more money. How much are Lily on the Veils now? Let's see. Still around 50. I wonder if they went up or down. It's like more supply, but um, more demand, right? See, that's pretty decent. S per. I'll bobble myself. I'm assuming it's like reanimator or something. I'm not entirely sure. I'll probably take the third land though, honestly. It's a blue Mars off the top. I kind of like ensuring the third land. Low key. Yeah, this is a. Uh... The fact that we are on the draw really fucks us here.
Because they can just faithful mending and put an Archon in their graveyard. They have everything in their hand. So if I take the Mending, they can just Armor Grave another Archon into the graveyard. And I, I can't take the rights because it's it'll be cheaper from the cast. They can also just discard the rights, right? I think I have to take the Mending. <clears throat> so bad. Fuck me. This Woodwalker's so slow. Ooh! That's so clutch for us. They didn't. Wow. I can't slam this Voidwalker fast enough. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, I was so defeated to like, oh shit, we're gonna like, we, we are like all of a sudden like in this game now. Holy Jesus. That's a good draw too. We can take this unmarked grave too. Ooh, they have a solitude. That's pretty good. Huh. Since this Witherbloom Command doesn't do anything, I'm kind of tempted to just like Witherbloom Command now and then just try to Hyrule a Saga. And then, worst case scenario, we just bring a friend of Catacombs back. Mill drain Saga 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 Let's go So they could also get a white card and pitch Um So like we are way far away from uh this game being over I'm not gonna cast this. Oh, they had a February, sure. So, again, like, I don't know if this song is fast enough. Probably is not fast enough. We're also not drawing any lands. Or we're just drawing only lands, unfortunately. We needed like a clock here. So they cast this. So we actually need to just just draw a oh no, they're just gonna They need a fourth land off the top. They're gonna arc on us. That is true. That is that is true. We do get to Bletchy's Thirst this. You're not wrong. I think we'll discard this Besaju. What is in their hand? Do they, I wonder if they're like on the priest version where I kind of want this push. Maybe I don't. Jesus. You only want to draw lands. No umbrella rights or persist one time, please. Lilian off the top, please. Lilian off the top. Liliana, where are you? Lilian of the Veil. Please. Wah, 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 wah. 
We also have... Um, uh, so we have two lilies, another thirst. So we need to top deck something. Oh no. Not the mole drifter. Not the mole drifter. We don't have an instant speed removal spell for that. Let's um cash in this Thoughtseize or this spell bomb and Thoughtseize them just to get the most info. Uh See what else there is in their deck. Double R, Karn, Prismatic, Ending, Solitude. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Alrighty. So, go Throat Throat's an answer. Um, Soul Guy Lantern, Bajooka Bog. So we can veil them, quote unquote. I think veil is good in this matchup. I think we're gonna borrow all the pushes though. We could also board in Torpor Orb. I think it's better than these two Witherbloom commands. Torpor also starts Mold Drifter. I'm kind of all in on Torpor Orb. Maybe like one veil of summer. Bird seems to use. Yep. I agree. Seems good. This hand seems good. We do need to draw a land, but we can just slam a bob. I'm okay with taking their ending. And if they want to just, like, grief me and have nothing going on, I am perfectly fine with that. <clears throat> they choose not to do that line. That's actually... Mm, let's not bobble them because they have grief. Let's upkeep bobble them, though. Persist. Okay, sure. Don't look at me, nostalgia. Do not look at me. Oh my. That's pretty good. We do need a third land. Which we just de decide not to draw. That's really bad for us. So if they pitch persist to grief, uh, the grief does not die. Kind of hoping that this Bob drew us into at least a third land here. Now if they grief us, they could take our Liliana and we're kind of in a world of pain. We can draw out of this by um, drawing a green source for Tarmogoyf. Ooh, they're just letting me tap. Please, Bob. Thanks. Uh, since we can't, um, 
Mr. Dave Twitch, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Just, uh, we brought out the Witherbloom commands. Oh, so we have it out to the Besaju. And we can Besaju the Sony Silence. So I think I get Spellbomb probably. And then I'll just play out Tarmogoyf. Play a drum. Is your deck? Nice. Yeah, I saw um, a 5 list. I know Electric Bob has been playing a list similar to this too. So they can grief me, but they was it won't do anything because of this Liliana, of this uh, Torpor Orb. This Bob should draw me into a third land and then we can Liliana them. That did not happen. I could attack. I could Inquisition, but then they're just gonna, they could persist, but that doesn't do anything. Let's attack. I want to. I want to get in with this Bob, and we can just play backup Bob. This Bob should draw me third land, right? Why isn't it drawing me into a third land? Come on, deck. I'm gonna play Hardcast Solitude. Don't know if that is worth. Shock again when they have a backup grief with a Torpor in play. So tell me you have Solitude without telling me you have Solitude. Dude! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, Bob, I need to have a little meeting with you, dude. You're not doing your job. Tell me of solitude without telling me of solitude. Void Walker. Nice. So they can play a Grief. Go up to seven. So they go up to seven and then we can, if we, if we draw a third land here, which we fucking should, <laughs> we should be able to Liliana them minus the Grief, uh, Liliana minus, make them sack the Grief, attack for lethal. Oh. Okay, never mind. That line is now officially out the window. They could theoretically persist the grief back, but then we could still lose on a minus. And even then, they still have to chump a Tarmogoyf because this Void Walker attacks for lethal anyway. Sure. <laughs> I think I only drew my green source, but golly, dude. Golly. Alright, you, you gotta chomp. Alright, Reclaimer and Azure, time to shine, baby. Nice little one mana, one, two. Two, three, four, five, six. Alrighty. Stony silence, huh? Stony silence. 
Actually kind of fucked us, though. <laughs> Loki did actually kind of fuck us. Uh, I wonder if I need to board in at least, like, one Wibbleboom command just to deal with that. That seems kind of loose, right? Maybe it's better than the Veil of Summer. Yeah, I think it's better than the Veil of Summer. Yeah, let's just bring in one Wibbleboom command. Alrighty. Um, I think we'll keep this. Okay. Voidwalker? I was thinking about rolling this, but I'm, I'm glad I didn't because they grieved themselves. They might take their... They took a... They exiled a persist. Wow. That's kind of a huge tell. Oh, I think it was Solitude. Okay, never mind. It's a lot of resources. So hopefully they kept the pan base on that and nothing else. Urborg is a good draw. With the Bloom Command. Eli Cassis, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Do I want this Witherblink command knowing that they might just go Stony Silence? Maybe I should have done this on their turn. That was probably a mistake, actually. That was actually a huge mistake. I think I'll keep it. Just a lot of chance that they go, they just go stony silence. Oh, they get to rerun the grief. At this point, I think I'll shuffle. Hmm. Actually, let's let's draw the withering command and then let's see if they want to grief it away. I'm okay with that. Because they're kind of incentivized to like take the Wither Command if they have a Stony Silence here. Okay, so they don't have Stony Silence, got it? <laughs> no Stony Silence. Sad face. Alright, so we'll Overgrown Tomb tapped here. Ooh. Alright, Bobby. This is your time for redemption. You kind of shit the bed last game <laughs> let's see uh how will you do this game buddy what is this modern new format yeah it's a new format we're trying out i heard it's pretty shitty though <laughs> it's pretty shitty though are they not gonna attack <laughs> okay so you should probably attack Again, I'm hoping they're keeping the hands on the back of Grief Ephemerate and they don't have like a nut persist draw or anything like that. Because that would make me really sad. Ooh. Fuck. <laughs> Why? Stop. Stop it. Golly.
Okay, so if they don't have the okay, they don't have the nuts. Oh, they could have the nuts, I guess. Just hear the phrase grief and family keeps me away from modern. <laughs> yeah. That's Oh god, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why? 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 <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we got the Torp Orb. Not bad. Did you just Torp Orb here? I think we have to get value off the Saga, though. I think we have to get value off the Saga. So if we get Saga, play a Saga. GGWPZ, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. I think I have to slow roll this saga. If they frame rate again, that's gonna suck. So I think I have to float here. Mikey Hawkins, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. So we only have one within the command. I guess we have the Besaju to answer the Stony Silence as another way. So I still think it's worth it to get a Soul Guide Lantern. And then we'll raise. They attack, I, I'm very tempted to double block. Bob is literally the most fair caught in modern. Not wrong, not wrong. Bobby, don't do this to me now. Spring leaf drum. Okay. Well, we're just gonna spam out this drum. And then attack. Uh, we will make it into a 5-5. Five five. Here we go. Now we force lethal. Do I not play land? I played forest. Okay. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll present lethal. Thanks. I will right click attack all of my combat step opponent, I promise you. Reclaimers. I got a shadow spear. So they could white card solitude here. Ooh, that hurts a lot. So you're saying I should have taken the trade, huh? You still win the trade, though. Oh, the race, though. So. Oh, I guess barring what this Bob does. Okay. Can't block. Are they gonna ephemerate here? They're not going to. So I think we attack with Reclaimer. 
play Saga, play Goyf. Goyf and Ba both block Grief. We have two Lilianas. We could hold up Reclaimer too. And attack with Bob. They go to eight. We could also attack all. They go to five. And then if they somehow get a Archon into play, they could also Solitude here. Solitude would be the worst, but I don't think we can... Oh, well, if we Solitude, we also gain life, so that's actually fine. The Solitude persists, that'd be bad. So I think I just send with everything, and then just play Goyf plus Bob. I think that's our line. We're gonna go Goyf plus Bob. Bob will not kill us. Mr. Obscure Confidante will not kill us here. Johnny Rocket 97. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. They discard a solitude. So they could persist a solitude. Okay. I mean, I'm okay going up the 10 if they want to exile my Targoyf. Interesting selection. Wouldn't it have killed us? So they have to trade everything? You guys don't have to trade everything. They should trade everything. So his Archon will become a 6-6-7-7. Six, six, seven, seven. Back of my day was Resto and a Fat Boy OG, not this new bullshit in 9MG on Jammin. <laughs> this card is broken, dude. So they could have another dress down, but then they need dress down plus something else because these bobs will also kill them. Uh, they could also like attack me and hope I take four off Bob. So that's actually oh they should have went for it. I think, I think they should have went for it. So they this is signaling another dress down.
Never, 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 we're never gonna die to Bob. Can you me? Solitude, okay. Okay. Another bauble. Oh, Inquisition here. Another grief. Okay. So we'll definitely play out the Torpor Orb. Um. I'm okay with just right click attack and all. I think so. They have to chump goif. Yeah, I think I think I'm okay with just attacking with everything. Let's just trade the resources now. So they could still have Dress Down as a top deck. Okay. But they can't Grief plus Dress Down, so... Another Solitude. Grief, sure. But now they're just dead. I don't understand. I don't... I don't get that line. Don't get that line. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, let's do a prediction, shall we? The 401 classic 401 prediction here. Opponent's cyber plan seems conflicted. They have Stoic Sense to protect reanimation combo, but seems to heavily on mid range lands. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I, like, they know we're in a boarding graveyard hate, right? So the Stoic Sense kind of makes sense, but then. I don't know. I, 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 I'm not a fan of reanimation, reanimator in modern, in period. So. Let's, uh, let's just do a little 4 1 prediction, shall we? While I get some water. 4 1. Prediction for one, uh, for one easy or three two BGX trophy. I'll give you all two minutes. Yeah, so for one prediction, three two minutes. Let's just uh, put in your channel points, y'all. Uh, while I bear it back, I'm gonna get some water real quick. Uh, but we're, at least we have a minimum 3 2 with this, so this thing's pretty solid. Pretty happy with it. I'll be right back.
Alrighty. Let's get this 50-50 uh, split. Can't go wrong with the 50-50 split. Can't go wrong with the 3-2 either. <laughs> Who ruined my odds at the last second? <laughs> I know. Whenever I'm in always someone's stream, I don't I always just do whatever gets me the best value. So whatever the lowest odds are, I always just go for that. <laughs> and, and, and I and, and it never worked out for me, but like I, I just I just can't like if I'm gonna see two odds, right? But it's like if I if the payout's like four to one, I'm gonna put money on that. Or sorry, not, not money, channel points on that. <clears throat> it's just the value play. Cla classic BGX mindset, right? Like, what's the best value bet <laughs> for channel points? <laughs> classic. The Grit the Gritza? I think I missed your follow. Thank you so much. Uh, unfortunately, we have Rot Farm in our hand. Um, but I'll go Basic Swamp. Thoughtsies. Uh, we're against this deck, huh? I'm going to take the Explore here. We have the out to the Red and Six. This draws on the card and ramps them, so I'm going to take the Explore. Very good. Well, I got punished there, unfortunately. So if I go... I have to get Overgrown Tomb here, so the next turn I can go Besage You, Bletchy's Thirst, the Red and Six, and play Dark Confidant. I think I still signed by that line, though. I had 1 to 101.5 odds. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so this will make my Reclaimer into a 3-4. We can start attacking. So let's do that. I honestly might even like besage this Valka next turn too. Okay. Still be crowned. That's the one shot what fills that they have. So let's attack. Five. Fortunately, short of lethal. Okay. Oh, is this probably what tie in? Oh, okay, sure. Oh, my goodness gracious. I'm going to be able to machine gun my board down.
So I think we'll roll the two pushes. Sorry, I didn't realize my mic was muted. Uh, roll two pushes. We board the we board in the gopher throw in the two tracks. I don't think we want anything else. Oh, we had the besage you too. I don't think we can keep this hand. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> um, bottom of land and uh, definitely bottom of land. Probably bottom of bobble. All right. Bobble recoup the card advantage, right? Is that the idea? Ball will recoup the card advantage. So that's the card they drew. Ooh. Okay. Well, that's big game there. That is uh, some big game. That's the forest that they played. Yep. Land. Bob just doesn't want to draw us lands, huh? <laughs> I understand. Okay. Okay. I think I activate Reclaimer. Get a Golgari Rot Farm. Bounce Blooming Marsh, play Blooming Marsh Thoughts. Let's see what they're going to draw here. Fail a summer. Okay, more reason to do so. Saka Swamp. Get a Gagari Raw Farm. Bounce Blooming Marsh, play Blooming Marsh, cast Thoughts. Take Scape Shift. So they have Vela Summer with the Bloom Command. I'm gonna Liliana here. Uh, and I'm gonna plus discard this land. And then this will grow the Reclaimer and I can start attacking. They discard Explore. Okay, cracking. I was just getting the door of mine, sure. Um, okay, so we need to draw. We board out all of our fatal pushes. Yeah, we're just dead. GG's. Three, two. So we beat one Svalica deck. We lost to another. Um, uh, 
Yeah, so we beat one Velika deck, we beat Reanimator, we lost to Hammer and regular Scape Shift. Uh, don't remember the other deck we beat. I uh, don't know if anyone remembers. We beat Reanimator, we meet, we beat the other Velika deck. We lost to Hammer. Gosh. I'm getting old now. Yeah, that's that's a thing. Shadow of Doubt is a, like an option. Like Ashok's also pretty good too. Um, because Ashok has just a little bit more splash damage against like the Graveyard decks too. I'm trying to figure out what the other deck we beat. Don't remember. Uh, oh, and Rakdos Scam. That's right. So we beat Rakdos Scam, Hammer. Or we lost to Hammer. We beat one of the four color Valkalis. So I think the deck felt good. I think the Lulianas are a really good addition. The Lulianas felt really, really good in this deck. Um, I'm not sure about the four bobbles. I think like the fourth bobble could be something else, maybe. I'm not sure what. Maybe like. Maybe this could just be a four, a third Withered Wound Command. Maybe it could be, like, one Assassin's Trophy. I know everyone hates Assassin's Trophy in this format, but, like, <clears throat> I think Trophy could be okay. Um, in the sideboard, we never cast the Go for the Throat, but it's kind of nice. Like, I was kind of reluctant when I watched Le Electric Ball play with this card in the sideboard, because I think he ran four in the stream that I watched him play it. And I was uh, kind of a little reluctant to see it. But, like, I... Boarded it in like almost every match. Like I boarded it against to kill Dryad. I boarded it in against uh, Rakdos Scam, and I boarded it in against. Um, uh, I boarded this in like four of the five matches, and they would have been good if we drew it. So, I think in terms of changes, uh, maybe two damping spheres too much. Maybe I'm too scared of Tron. Maybe we can cut this down to one uh, if we really want to make room. I think the two Orc Torp Orbs are really, really good. Uh, the Veil of Summer is maybe we can go down to one copy, so that makes two uh, slots. Uh, I like the two Tarax, I like the two EEs. Uh, so the cards I do like to see, like, I wonder if we can somehow fit uh, a Force of Vigor in the list, uh, just to not be so naked against Hammer. Uh, maybe we want one copy. So, like, if we go minus one Damping Sphere, minus one Veil of Summer, maybe we can have, like, I don't know if we want two Veil of Summer. Uh, maybe we want one Ashiok. Uh, if we keep playing against like these scape shift lists. Uh, so I think one Ashiok might be good there. Um, but yeah, I think Modern's a little wide uh, to really have a cyber plan. Because the top words are definitely against uh, the four color decks along with Tarak. Uh, the Needle and the and the Lanterns are kind of uh, locked because of the Sokka package. And the Bajuka box kind of locked because of the Reclaimer. And I think all of those are worthy. Uh, so the Chalice is going to be good against, you know, um, the Living End and the Rhino. So I think this is a lock too. So most of the sideboard I feel like is locked. It's really just the one Damping Sphere wooden Veil of Summer. So maybe I add a two Force of Vigor in the sideboard, for example. Um, the Rhythm Command has always been un unimpressive. I've never really been a fan of them. But I do get why uh, it's nice to recur with Saga. And like if we drew them against Hammer, it would have been a big game, right? Uh, so I'll probably keep two. Again, like, maybe this fourth bottle could be something else, like, in a Decay or an Assassin's Trophy or something. So that might be something I might try. Because uh, I was considering playing uh, this Ignoble Hierarch build next. Um, I, the aforementioned Ashok slamming it on turn two uh, through Ignoble Hierarch is pretty big game. But as we saw, like, the whole league, like, Urza Saga just, like dominated uh the whole league like urza saga destroyed us um against hammer when the hammer player uh drew it but then when we drew it we destroyed all of our opponents so i it just it makes it so tough not playing saga like i just don't think you could play a mid-range deck without saga uh, especially in Rock when you're lacking powerful cards. Like, I can imagine Jun not having Saga just because you already have Ragavan and Renin 6, and if you don't play a Darcy package, like, the powerful cards are there. 
But like for Rock, it's like Ignoble Hierarch is not a Ragavan or a Darcy or a Ren and Six. The Grist is interesting for sure. And this list is definitely uh, much better off casting Force of Vigor because there's 4, 8, uh, 12, 16, 17 green cards. So Force of Vigor is definitely a lot uh, easier to, har uh, to to pitch for free. Um, so maybe maybe I just need to add like a third. Like again, if this is like an Assassin's Trophy, right? That's uh, 11 green cards. And if we have two Force of Vigors, that's 13 green cards. It's a, a little more reasonable. We could always just try to hard cast it too. Uh, so that may be something I might try next. Um, I'm going to be debating if I want to uh, play... Um, just retry this uh, and had Force of Vigors on the sideboard, or if I should try the Ignoble build next. So if you are interested in one of the specific builds, please um, let me know. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, please let me know if you want to watch a specific version, or if you just want to watch this again. I might post a, to uh, a poll on Twitter too. Uh, but I really appreciate all the support. We got a bunch of follows today. How's it going, Roundsley? Nice to see you again on the chat but again i really appreciate for all the support all the follows all the views like we broke 50 uh viewers today it's been consistently breaking that magic number of 50 i, I could tell a lot of people love rock and uh, fun fact i know i'm usually known as the abzan guy but the very first gp i guess my second technically my second gp the first gp i played in was a team event and i played abzan and i think i went like five and two but my team <laughs> ate shit the bed so we didn't make day two but i actually personally did really well um but the my next my second gp i ever played and that's actually i think my only gp my other gp uh i played rock and i day two with it uh i was really really happy uh that being my own second gp so like rock is definitely like uh has a place in my heart and it's like it's one of those things where like if you really had to put a gun through my head and ask me what I prefer playing if I had to pick between Golgari and Abzan like if you really had to like in a culmination of just magic in general and the core of what uh like just playing the game if I had to really pick I actually would pick Golgari over Abzan I love Abzan because Stoneforge Mystic's really fun um it's been a card that's been kind of um uh underplayed in my opinion uh outside of hammer uh, i really like so far as a card but i just love consistency uh i love two color mana bases i just love how um like if for those who are uh paid attention to when rock was tier one like i was a person that only played three field of ruin instead of four uh because i really wanted my color consistency and it applies here uh so like i really like rock i i love lingering souls i love stone force mystic too uh, but Rock also has a place somewhere, and it's, the case shows here, like, I'm a lot less frustrated playing these games when I just have my mana online, right? And when you play a three-color deck, like, there's gonna, you're gonna have, like, X percentage of games where your, your third color, not having your third color screws you. Um, so, I'm looking forward to jamming this more, and definitely looking forward to Pioneer and playing Liliana Bell in that format, for sure. Um, but that'll do it for me. I'll probably be back tomorrow, or if not Wednesday. Uh, again, I'll probably be jamming either this build again, just jamming some more games, or I might try the Ignoble Higher build. Um, so let me know what you prefer. Other than that, let's send y'all on a raid. Uh, we can just raid Fluffball. Let's raid Fluffball. All right, I really appreciate you retaining out. If you want to support the channel, please hit that follow button. Uh, Thindry, how the game's going? We went 3-2. Uh, we beat Rakdos Scan. We beat uh, some sort of escape shift list. Um, we lost to Hammer. We lost to uh, straight, straight up Gruul escape shift. Uh, so the games went really well. Um, so the deck definitely pulled weight. So I appreciate you retaining out. Let's send Fluff Fall some love. Let's hit that follow button. Uh, check out the Discord, check out the YouTube, check me out on Twitter. Alright, hope to see you over next time. Bye.